Welcome to Das Geek. I am so excited to share what's been happening with you. Since I did the first video where I was talking about the DuckDuckGo app tracking protection tool that was in beta, guess what? The awesome folks at DuckDuckGo reached out to me and they're like, here's a beta key. Let us know what you think. Share it with your audience. Let them know what you think about this. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is an absolute game changer. I thought I knew privacy. I thought I was doing all the right things. And then this application has been on my phone for a couple of weeks. And I just realized when I say to minimize the amount of apps that you have on your phone, this app is just going to make you pave and nuke so many apps off of your device. It was amazing to me. It, this has caused me to leave so many services that I thought I trusted or that I thought because I paid for an application that I was getting a better, more secure uh, version than if I went with just a free version. For instance, there is a very popular Reddit app out there that you can pay for. And I was utilizing it thinking this is going to be more private than your standard Reddit app. And boy, was I wrong. It was one of the greatest offenders, which I'll show you in here in a second, how the app looks that was on my phone, financial institutions, discover card, wanting to ping all the time, discover gone, credit card gone. I'm not even playing with these companies when I see this type of stuff. I'm already giving them money for other services. They don't get to get more, but this is exactly why. If you had a hard time like me comprehending, why was it when Apple introduced a similar technology but baked into their operating system that it cost Facebook and Google $10 billion? That's a hard number to wrap our head around, but $10 billion already estimated to cost them when Apple put this in their device. And when I have been spending the last two weeks with this app, I realized why that number is so big. We're talking apps sending hundreds of requests for your data through Facebook, through Google, and all of these things constantly. So real quick, just in case to set a baseline, watch that first video. It's going to give you a good idea of what we're talking about, but I'm going to do a high level here. App trackers are basically trackers that they're baking into the apps themselves. There's a reason why all of these companies are constantly like, you want a better experience? Please download our app, download our app, download our app, because they're going to get more information out of you. But not only that, even when your phone's not in use and you don't even have that app open, these apps are still trying to get information. They could be trying to get location information, sending your emails, selling all this data to everybody else. It's like a free for all. There's no regulation. There's no stopping these companies. Google don't care. The marketplace is a disaster anyways. Let it ride. That's the whole Android philosophy. And boy, you can see it loud and clear when you install an app like this. But I have a feeling this app is going to be a game changer. This app is going to force these developers to change because when people see what I see, they're going to be as mad and angry as I was about these applications from institutions that have no business tracking your information. And I'm not talking about when you just open the app. I'm talking about when your device is asleep. Now, I do want to mention this is in beta. And so some of these may be false positives that they're seeing there. It's why it's not out open to everybody because they're still working on things. But there's still, it, it's just fascinating how this whole system works and what I'm seeing already. And I just can't thank the DuckDuckGo team enough for number one, making this tool most importantly, the awesome people at DuckDuckGo that are taking the time to put this together just a fantastic representation of what your company is about. And I, I just, and thank you for sending me the beta key as well. I mean that, so I can share this with so many people because what you need to do like right now is go download the DuckDuckGo browser and go sign up for this app. They also have an email protection service as well that's in beta. And what this does is it sets up like a dosgeek at duck.go. And so you can send all your mail there and it's going to forward that. So when you're signing up for accounts and everything else, you just use dosgeekaduck.go. And, but they don't get a real email address because that just forwards to another email address they have no idea about. So you can just give that out to everybody. That's kind of what that service is about. And of course, this one is, I believe it works like a VPN because it sets up when you set it up, it's like a VPN. So it's basically intercepting that traffic, reading what it's trying to do and shutting it down. Kind of like maybe what your pie hole and things would do. But of course, it's doing it everywhere, whether you're on your own network or not, which is really cool. Now, I do want to mention there are certain apps, and this is another reason why it's still in beta. 
in which if you put turn on the app blocking protection, then it will, the app won't work. So there are certain apps that just don't function with that. So uh, it will automatically, you have the ability to go into each individual app and shut those services off if you don't want to run it's a banking institution or something else, or maybe it's important that they track your location uh, to make sure that it's actually you, then you can turn that service off for just those specific apps. And why does app tracking protection use a VPN connection? You'll be asked to set up a virtual private network, but you don't need to install VPN app for this. The permissions allow app tracker protection, which work locally in your device to monitor network traffic so it can block known trackers. So that's a much better explanation than I just gave a second ago right here in their app for kind of how it works. And a VPN sends your data from the device to its own server, where it secures and anonymizes your data from prying eyes. However, this allows the VPN company to see your network traffic. So this is talking about how is this different than if you say install Proton VPN, which is one of the VPNs that I recommend, or Molvad VPN, another VPN I recommend out there to have on your phone. App tracking protection is different. Instead of sending your data to VPN, protection works locally on your device, sitting between your apps and the servers that they talk to. And app tracking protection works on your device and doesn't send your personal uh, data off your device to DuckDuckGo. And DuckDuckGo is known as the privacy search engine. Very well respected, very great company out there. I really trust this company and think that they're doing a lot of good out there. Okay, so I'm going to focus because some of this, you know, I don't want to reveal financial institutions and things that I use. So you're going to see some stuff blurred out and that's why. Um, but I want you to focus on the very top here where it says the past week, 1,308 tracking attempts. That's after me nuking some of these non-essential apps out there or apps that I thought because I was paying for them that I wasn't going to have a bunch of trackers going off. Still 1,308 tracking attempts against 23 apps. So I still have a lot of work to do. Now, unfortunately for me, a lot of the apps that I have to keep on are for my phone because one of the big offenders out there, for instance, is Slack. And that's something that's required for my work. And I need to be able to handle Slack messages during work. But Slack is a big one where lots of trackers are going off. A fitness app. So Planet Fitness, 83 tracking attempts there. Now, it may be, again, something where they're just trying to grab some address information to verify when you open the app because it, the app is what they use to actually sign you into the building. But 83 tracking attempts, I don't go to the gym that often. So they're going to salesforce.com and three others just 50 minutes ago. And it's just shocking title 30 tracking attempts in music app here title. You're paying for a premium music service, but that's not enough. We got to steal your data too. We got to make more money off of you. So title was a big fender here. And then we have an edge app, which I've utilized for transferring Bitcoin and things like that. At times it's kind of my in between cold wallet. But look at that thing, six tracking attempts right there just five hours ago. So nothing can be trusted. These apps just can't be trusted. And what's amazing is I went with the non-official, I mean, the official Reddit app instead of the non-official sync app. And I had a lot of those, like the fish, the sync app, whatever it was doing. And I don't know if it was nefarious or not, but it was just tracking like crazy. And I went to the re regular Reddit app instead, and it just went down to a few trackers in there that it had to block. So this is kind of some of the stuff that you'll see when you go to these services. It will list out the particular app. It will list out the type of service. Is it going to Google? Is it going to Salesforce? Is it going to Visual Studio? Who is it trying to send the data to or, or connect with? And give you an idea of how many of those are running in there. Not all tracking's bad. For instance, you'll see in here like Bitwarden's in there. I trust Bitwarden 100%. They got a couple of tracking attempts in that app. Well, no doubt they're certainly going to be looking for certain things like location services or other stuff to validate people, who they are, and that type of thing. Not all tracking's bad, and that's the point. But some of these companies, when you see things like 83 and 30 or 100 or more in these apps, they're just abusing the system entirely, and that's what has to stop. And here's an example where I was talking about where you can turn off the app tracking protection for certain apps. There are certain apps in which you may need to have those services on for them to validate where you're at at times or to send certain information for it to work properly. Among Us cracks me up because I downloaded this because we we're playing it with my team and uh, it wants it off because it has known issues in there. Of course, we know that's a free game, so I could only imagine, right? But I feel so much more secure 
having this application on my phone. And really that's what I want to tell you is right now, stop what you're doing, get rid of your Chrome browser, get rid of your Firefox browser sitting on your cell phone and download the DuckDuckGo browser. It has so many cool options like the fire icon on the top that just destroys all of the data from your tabs. If you need to get rid of all your tabs, you need to clear your cache, all that one button click, it's gone. Plus you can sign up for the beta for this app tracking tool. Plus you can sign up for the beta for their email protection tool. And you can see that DuckDuckGo is really working on not just having great taglines that they care about privacy, which we knew with their fantastic search engine, DuckDuckGo, but they're also taking these very talented, beautiful people, and they're making really important applications like this that help protect your data. This doesn't help them any. They're not making tons of money off of this. They're helping us be able to protect our privacy and our data because it's a human right and it's something that should be protected. And if you like these type of videos, then you should love DigitalOcean because they're a sponsor of the Destination Linux Network and this channel. So go to do.co slash DLN, get your free $100 credit. They are the absolute best, greatest cloud platform out there. I've been learning Docker like crazy in Kubernetes and I've been utilizing DigitalOcean $5 droplets also to help out the awesome people who run the Tor network because they needed more bridge bridges out there built. And I was able to use Docker to build some bridges on a $5 droplet to help them out. And of course they needed over 400 new bridges there. And so that's the type of cool stuff that you can do amongst many other things on digital ocean. They have 5,000 cloud agnostic tutorials that you can learn to set up servers. And if you mess up, you can always destroy a droplet and create another one. And those droplets cost $5 per month. That's it for a small droplet, or they, they have massive, super powerful droplets as well out there. And they have things like build, deploy, manage, and scale your apps for you, support for Node.js, Python, Go, PHP, Ruby, basically everything, static sites, Docker that we just talked about, zero infrastructure management, highly scalable. They're just amazing. And they're gonna give you $100 that you can play with. You make one big droplet for a month, you can make a bunch of tiny droplets, but it'll give you a chance to check out their award-winning, amazing interface that they have. It's so easy. Anyone could do it. Do.co slash DLN. So again, a special thanks to all my patrons for supporting this channel. Thank you so much. I love your faces. All the folks at DuckDuckGo, please keep doing amazing things like this. Let me know in the comments below if you have nuked your browser that you typically have on your phone and done the right thing and installed the DuckDuckGo browser and signed up for all these betas. And then I want to hear your opinions and things that you're seeing that are happening on your phone. What apps did you not expect to be as abusive as they actually were? I was shocked. A lot of companies are getting accounts canceled from me this week. And I'm like explaining to them because your trackers, I see your trackers. I see them going off like crazy. And now you're dead to me. That's how this is going to work. The more we get that out there, it's going to help stop these companies from abusing us as their customers. So again, leave your comments below. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Mm -hmm.